I have lost track of the amount of times I've heard the city of Toronto say we are, quote, ready for a snowstorm. Because mm -hmm. that's what you got to say. No one wants to hear, guys, we're, we're done. <laughs> we don't know what we, we're we, doing. We, we don't, don't know what we're it. doing. We have one plow. Yo. We didn't really see this coming. <laughs> yeah, there's a storm on the way. We're screwed. <laughs> Nobody like, wants no to gonna hear that. No one's going to say it. No, and no it one's feels gonna, like it. it well, there's now a pattern developing, especially this year. And a lot, a lot of residents of the city of Toronto have a lot to say on this. And some councillors as well uh, from Ward 12 Toronto St. Paul's. Josh Matlow, and, and you've, you've, you've seen the clip earlier today, uh, Tammy ran it, but he, he put out a tweet, and it's worth uh, revisiting. He said, quote, I've advocated toward the former mayor and his allies in council to support raising snow clearing standards. They wouldn't make this a priority. On some streets in our city, never mind raising the standards, it seems that they haven't cleared the snow at all. This must change. Clearing snow, especially in a Canadian city, should be a basic winter service. It's about being a functional, safe, and accessible city. Waiting for the snow to eventually melt just isn't acceptable. That is the strategy for the record I am taking this morning and for the rest of the week. <laughs> I heard temperatures of four and three degrees. I'm gonna roll the dice on this because yeah. I didn't get a chance last night let to get go. out there. Yeah. I'm gonna let it go. But generally, uh, Diva, listen, the snow issue is one issue. Mm -hmm. Council generally functioning normally is another. Where do you want to take this? I you mean, go first. You're in a, he's not wrong, but he's also in a position to make that change and make that a basic Speak function on it. for, right? Speak on it. Uh, look, it's different for me, and I'm going to preface this with this, because I live in kind of tourist area. And so for me, this is not everybody's experience, but my personal experience, it's not that bad. Things get done pretty quickly. Again, though, it's because of the area I live in. This area here of Young Dundas, down by St. Lawrence Market, Distillery District, that, those areas are getting cleaned up because they want to keep it nice for, for sure. tourists, right? So I don't have the same experience as a lot of people like that neighbor the Baker and Lonsdale that we just saw right there. I don't see that for four or five days. My sidewalks and my roads are clear pretty quickly. So right. they yeah. are doing it in some spots. I'll give them that and give them credit. But there for might that. be a reason they're being done in some spots. Got to look pretty. For sure. Right. I, I, my Toronto experience, I lived downtown for years and I was in the same situation mm -hmm. as Evo where things were cleared pretty much quickly. But when you look at those side streets, yeah. yes, it's tough to get in there. And to be fair to the city of Toronto and the transportation services, they have actually upped their game when it comes to uh, trying to get to the snow quickly before mm -hmm. it used to be like eight centimeters of snow before they went out there and yeah. started plowing. So they have made improvements. However, I will say for some of those smaller side streets, especially the ones that have parking. That's the thing. This is a problem right there. Like even if you look right here on Victoria, they haven't plowed at all the side of Victoria. And mm -hmm. that's because cars are constantly parked there. And so there are these side streets where you have the street parking. And unfortunately, you're just not going to be able to get to uh, all of that curbside snow in time. And I think that's where Josh Matlow is coming from because he does represent a ward mm -hmm. like Lee Side, where they are full of those tiny side streets with street parking, uh, residential street parking that people just don't like. I'm going to ask you guys a question sure. here quickly because if you are those cars, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And that snowstorm happens at night and you have to get up the next morning to go to work, are you happier that your road is clear, but now you have a foot and a half of snow by your driver's side door and in front of your car that you got to try and get out of? You know I, what I mean? Because there, oh, there is, exactly it's a catch 22 mm -hmm. in that sense. Mm -hmm. Listen, Devo, I, I, mean, I lived in East York for like mm -hmm. eight years. I know the side street issue that you're talking about, Tam, very well. Mm -hmm. I, 100 times out of 100, I would rather the, the street not plowed mm -hmm. and not have this Game of Thrones wall <laughs> of ice right. by my car yeah. at 7 o'clock in the morning than, than have to fight my way out of a street. Because odds are I'm probably going to fight my way into the street and maybe I can get out. I'll roll the dice on that. But when you see, when you get up, when you get up, man, and, and you got a tough by. job, yeah. and you see a battle before you got a battle at work, mm -hmm. that's a lot of battles. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Which one? I, that's would a you lot rather of battles. Until, like the next day, or would you, you know? Like I, that's, it's, it's true. It's, it's, it's which one? But some of those East York uh -huh. streets, good luck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Good luck getting a car on, like in June. Right. Good getting luck getting in there. a car exactly. through some of those streets in and, and around the Danforth wow. and yeah. whatnot. Good luck. But but bigger picture too, in terms of of Councillor Josh Matlow. I gotta say, how long Josh Matlow's been part of city council since what, 2010? 
something like that? Has it been? I, I feel longer. Long time. It, might, longer. it may be longer. <laughs> yeah, it, it, be may, it feels like 20 years for yeah, Josh Madlow. Like yeah. He's been complaining about the city for 20, 20 years. Yeah. I, am, I am getting uh, tired of the sitting MPP who's been there for 10, 15, 20 years, the sitting MP who's been there for 10, 15, 20 years, the sitting councillor who's been there for 10, 15, 20 years, especially now that city council in the city has been chopped in half, and technically you have more power to cut deals than you ever have before, and on a municipal level, there's more of a re realistic opportunity to cut deals, you know, where it's not as partisan as, as Queens Park in Ottawa. I am, I am tired of the sitting councillor saying the city's broken, and you've been there for like 15 years, okay? I don't want to hear that anymore. Affect change. You're not new. You're not the rookie. This isn't your first go around. It's not your first term. I'm tired of the constant complainer. Now, I understand they have constituents, and there are people that they need mm -hmm. to speak for. I get it. But the constant complaining politician, who also doesn't want to jump into the, the line of fire and become mayor or run, you want to affect change, counselor? You got superpowers if you're the mayor of the city. I don't know if you've heard about this. You got superpowers now. Run for mayor. Any councillor who's had anything to say. John Tory was a lot of things. He answered every question. He was out there every press conference. He took all the heat. For any councillor who just wants to complain constantly in the city about what's going on, I'm not saying you're wrong, but at some point you got to zip it, run, and put your money where your mouth is, and, and, and be in the line of fire and affect real change. Because for the first time in a long time in the city, you could really do that. You could really do that. So, to Councillor Matlow, to anyone else who wants to run, I welcome it. Let's affect change and not just sit there and complain about it. On Let's that do that. note, the deputy mayor is going to be joining us in about half an hour's time. So we'll ask her about yes. uh, what's going on with snow clearing. Maybe she, is she going to run? Maybe she, maybe not? She's not. No. She's not. Uh, no. 100%. She said she's out. Yeah. Okay. okay.